Another interesting job, taking these out so that they can be redone by St. Leonard's glass. They've got to come out. So this is another voyage of discovery. So what we've got to, what we have to do is we've got to break the, the window out. And as always, the first bit is to break the staff bead out. Well, we'll call it the staff bead. It's not the staff bead. It's actually a different profile, but or any other profile. Now, working with stained glass is always huge fun. Always remove the long sides first before you try to get the short sides out. It's much, much simpler. But you have to be extremely careful. Because the slightest mistake break the window. Can I have a shark's tooth please? Is he there? Oh he's not there. One down, eight to go, seven to go. Right. That's the next bit out. That's that bit out. Yeah, that's that bit out. that bit out. Oh, the shark's tooth. So far, so good. <laughs> this isn't funny. Can you bring in the, can you bring in the fine? What we've done so far is taken off the surround. That's what all these pieces are. The next bit to do is to loosen up the, um, uh, the putties around the sides and on the outside. And we do that with a fine so that we can scrape it out. The is very, very soft. So you must make sure that when you when you're going round that you hold the, the blade as an angle so that you're not actually cutting into the lead. is that for the most part I'm dragging the fine backwards so that the teeth aren't cutting in. Basically I'm using this as a scraper.
have you seen me operating? Yeah, just just hold the glass. Now, because these are so delicate, we have to break the uh, break these out from the outside as well. So again, the same thing, the fine. Ladder up higher. Okay. Yeah. So, what we need to do is get me up a little bit higher without. That's no good. That's no good. Mike, stand down for a second. somebody siliconed the top in. The, the bottom is done with putty, which comes out dead easy. The top is done with silicone relatively recently uh, and has been proven to, proved to be <coughs> uh, more difficult. Right, okay, that's it. I want to get over into this corner. So the beauty of the, um, the multi-tool, if you don't switch now it on. The ang put that at a different angle so that we've got um, got better control. zip tie on purely and simply because I don't want the board to uh, to slip off when I take my weight off so could I have the uh, the fine back up again please the uh, multi-tool up
That looks like it's free. That's at the top. It's still stuck at the let, let go a little bit. Yeah, that's it. That's what we want. It's out in that corner. But don't bend it too much. There's a couple of pins sticking out on the side. Right, okay. Keep it upright. Whatever you do, keep it upright. That's it. That's, That's it. That's it. Right. Good. Brilliant. Right, that's that's one one down, one to go. Where we're going to just clean up the frame. Right. Now we're going to do that from the inside. Right. Okay. What we're going to need? Well, we, we can do that in a moment. Leave that f uh, uh, as is. Great. Okay then. Let's move around. Second verse, same as the first. So first of all, we remove this. These are all going because there's going to be, apparently these windows are going to be part of a double plating unit. And so, These would need to be cut down anyway. 